All right, so we just got hooked up. Just moved outside the bridge. I think it might be a ride. Get the oh. And I've been chilling, watching the ocean with you. Baby up with a slow motion crew. And we up in our growlings when people change, but not us. And we just chilling, kicking it, kissed by the sun. Could be so to the skin. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in. If you haven't subscribed, please do so now. It helps us out. And if you want to throw us a comment of what we should be doing next, we'd be more than happy to listen. Today, we have some lines in the water out by Three Mile Bridge in Pensacola. From here, we'll probably head over to cleaner water and have a relaxing Saturday with the lines still in the water, of course. So, tune in see how we do. Just got hooked up on finally the first fish that we got at the bridge. Nice, nice mangrove. Woo! That's the biggest one yet. He's a good boy. Nice. Wow. Guess we're not moving. We just got she done said, talking about moving. One more shrimp and then we'll move. I don't think we're moving now. Nice. The players are right behind you. Okay. We need to measure this guy. I mean, I don't what is it, 12 inches? 10. 10. He's way over 10. He's probably yeah. bigger than that first one you thought. He's probably pushing there 14. Give it to me, buddy. There he is. So we just got hooked up, just moved outside the bridge. I think it might be a rod. Get the net. Oh, it's a big gar. Get the net. I'm lo looking for it. I got it. Just get the fish. Giant. It looks like a giant gar. Oh, it is. Look at that. You ready? Yeah, ready. He's not ready. There, get him. Oh. <laughs> Uh, I don't even know how to get the hook out of this thing's mouth. Wait, let me find the wires. All right, so we just got this gar undone. Well, we've caught them in other states, but... Not this big. Well, not that big, though. That's a nice one. Oh, look. Man. Not what we wanted, but it still bent the pole. Yep. Put this bad boy back. Get him back in the water. What does it feel like? Not overly big. Fighting a little bit. It looks like a Spanish. Spanish. Yep. Yep, little baby Spanish. He's beautiful. Little teeny guy. Pretty fish though. You're using the glass minnow? Yeah, I just threw it out one time just to see what would happen. Well, he liked it. Might be the ticket. There he goes. Live another day. Here we are on the beach, sound side of Pickens. The bridge just shut off, so we decided to beach it up, eat our lunches. Now we are baiting some poles. Hopefully it'll be a good afternoon. Well, one of our heavy, heavier setups is getting Is it on though? You sure it's a cat? They didn't like the cat. Like cat. I haven't seen him yet. Is he fighting at all? Staying down like a cat. What the heck? Did you the see heck? That? I don't know what that. That was a baby hammerhead. Yeah, I was gonna say it wasn't that a cat. Was it wasn't a catfish. Hammerhead. 
like this big hammerhead. Crazy. That's the first time I've ever had that on my pole. That's crazy. So this was absolute, that's a shark. It's gotta be. Shit, like it took our whole pole into the water. I go diving. See if you can tighten it down just a little, not much. It pulled the rod holder. I was in the boat. It pulled the rod holder over, pulled the rod in the water. <coughs> Sorry about that, everybody. Ooh. What does it feel like? Ooh. Is it just heavy? Yeah. Is it, is it shaking? No. I don't know what it is. I've never dove after a pole so fast before. Okay. Just keep tension on them. Don't horse them. You're doing really good. I'd have done the same thing. That was some fast, fast reflexes. Here, if you just take, walk back and forth with him. I'm I'm very heavy. Is it even fighting? Yeah, uh, Doing really good. I'm gonna shut this thing off so we can get it. All right. Took a, way go, my friend. took a minute, but we got it out of him. Lives to fight another day. But don't come visit us. Yeah, go, go mess with somebody else. Send the redfish and the sharks this way. All right, gang. I had to shut the camera off because that got a little nutty. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen my wife swan dive off of the beach into uh i don't know eight inches of water he pulled the rod holder over pulled the rod into the water um we finally got him to the beach i couldn't try to film anymore that was a two-person job so we got him undone he swam away uh it was a crazy fight i think julie's gonna have some sore arms in the morning ripped it right out of the rod holder again Well, this is the second time that I've attempted to go into the boat and get a drink, and Julie decided to catch a fish. <coughs> I apologize for the coffee. I'm a little parched. You don't want to know what it feels like? Does it feel like another ray? We'll see. We'll see. Maybe not. That's starting to look like a ray. Beach. Come on, waves. All right, 
I'm gonna stop this and I'll, get the, I'll go get the pliers. Okay, everybody, we ha only have two shark poles and one medium heavy pole in the water. That's all that's left. We've cleaned up our area. We're gonna be heading back. I have one thing to say on those two fights, those major fights, the one that I went diving after the pole in, I apologize. I know that I was having swimsuit malfunctions. <laughs> Hopefully we didn't show anything that should not be shown, but that's life fishing as a girl. Um, and two, I hope you all really enjoyed the underwater video that Brent got of the race. That was the first time we'd ever tried it. I was, she wanted me to do it. I was nervous to stick a brand new camera under the water, but, but I, th I, I, think it, I think it worked out. <laughs> uh, hopefully, I love the underwater videos. I just love to see the fish in their natural environment. So hopefully in the future, I can convince him to do more of those. But either If she way, promises to let me buy another camera, no problem. Then I got a spare. Hey, it's his money. So we're done for tonight, I think. And I want you all to keep it real. <laughs>